So if you've been looking into homes in Gilbert, Chandler, or Queen Creek, and you're having a hard time picking one, they're all great places to live, maybe this video is gonna be of particular interest to you because this place is kind of a hybrid of all three. So we are at the community of Santanilla. We are technically, according to the guy in the sales office, in Gilbert. That means you are on Gilbert services for water, sewer, things like that. However, because we are utilizing a Queen Creek post office, this is a Queen Creek address. And you'll see Santan Mountain just right over my shoulder here. That is kind of the biggest sign of all that we're really close to Queen Creek. We are also far enough south and just down the road from Chandler. So your kids will be going to the Chandler School District unless you choose the Gilbert ones because remember we do have open enrollment here in the state of Arizona. You get to pick which schools you go to. But if you like all three of those places, this is a really nice central location to each. Gilbert is just up the street. Chandler just a few miles away as is Queen Creek. So really you can take advantage of all the amenities that each one of those places has to offer. So Santanilla is being built out by K. Havnanian Homes. And this is maybe not as well known of a builder as some of the bigger names around the valley, but these guys put out an excellent product. The model home in this community is called the Flagstaff 2. That's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. It is a single level, four bedroom, three bath home. Comes with a three car garage. It is 2,652 square feet. And a unique feature of this thing is it comes standard with a casita. So I get a lot of requests for people looking for that casita, whether it's kids or elderly parents that are gonna be living with them. This one comes with it standard. So it's a really great option if that is what you're looking for. And a couple of quick housekeeping items before we head inside to look at this home. Number one, if you like it, if you wanna see it in person, do not come out here by yourself. You need to have a realtor with you on your first visit. Otherwise, they will not allow you to have a realtor to use as your own representation, because remember, they work for the builder in that model. You want somebody who's gonna be looking out for your best interest, and if you don't bring them with you on your very first time here, they won't let you have it. So please reach out to me. I'd be honored to take you through the home and show you everything that this community has to offer. All of my information down in the description below. And the second thing, if you like this kind of content, if you value these home tours and the community tours I do, then please consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Brian Elder. I am a realtor here in the local area, and I get calls, texts, and emails every day from people that are exactly like you. And you, and you, and you, and you, who are all thinking about moving to this fantastic place. So if you're moving in six months or six days, it does not matter. I would be more than happy to help you find your dream home here in the Phoenix area. Without further ado, let's go check out the Flagstaff. All right, here we are coming up to the Flagstaff 2. So as you can see, it does have the casita, which is included in this model. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Check this out here. So here's our entryway. So they've got the nice features on the wall and wide and again there's the door to that casita so let's just go ahead and poke our heads in here since we're right here so again comes standard very rare that you see a casita standard on a home but k hovnanian i even said it right is doing that for you so nice little kitchenette here and then a good sized little sitting area room for the tv and that exterior door back out to the patio Pretty cool that they do this for you. Lots of requests for casitas. And there's your stackable washer dryer. And then over here we've got a full bathroom. So we've got the, the my brain's not working today. <laughs> the vanity, goodness, the toilet and the shower. Dialed in, looks great. And in here, the bedroom. Not super large, pretty tight with that uh, little miniature desk stuck in there, but this is a nice looking room. And the closet's fairly good size, not a walk-in but a little bit bigger than, than you see um, usually comes standard. But yeah, if you've got kids who are not quite ready to move out on their own or adult parents, elderly parents, I should say, 
Man, those are good options. Again, we, we get a lot of requests for homes with casitas, and this one comes standard. Okay, so coming down this hallway here, we've got another full bath. So there's your double vanity, toilet, and a nice subway tiled shower. And then a couple of bedrooms as well. Again, not a big bedroom by any stretch. So if you're looking for large rooms, this one doesn't really provide that. But if you're okay with something about maybe 10 by 11, could be slightly larger than that, then it's going to work. But up to you. I, I get all kinds of feedback on bedroom size and how important that is. A lot of times if it's a kid's room, they usually don't need a lot of space because they're going to be out running around anyway, but for some folks that's important. So just depends on how you feel about that. These are all very nicely done. It's a model home, you would hope so, right? And we come in here. And we've got a great big laundry room. So don't know if this is upgraded to be this humongous. But yeah, this thing's gigantic. Look at this. So there's your sink and your cabinets. There's the washer dryer. It's got a big shelf above. There's the box for the internet and whatnot. And that leads out into the kitchen and the little mud room here. And then and across the way we've got an open den, so they have it open to the living room there. You probably have the option to wall that off if you choose to do it. Cost extra though, so, and sometimes they don't even give you the option to enclose it. It's kind of strange when they do that, but you'd have to check. And here we are, the main living area. Nice and open, very spacious. So over here we've got some cabinets, the microwave, and more cabinets above. Here is our double oven, and it is a true double oven, which is cool. And of course, room for a standard refrigerator. Like the wood cabinets. Appreciate it when they're not always painted. And the gourmet cooktop. Putting that built in there. And just more cabinets all over the place. A nice backsplash they put on too. The island, pretty standard, not super huge, but very good size. Dishwasher built in. Nice looking sink with the Upgraded faucets. This countertop's interesting. I'm not sure what material it is. Doesn't quite feel like granite or quartz, but it doesn't really feel like concrete either, so I have to find that out. Floors are nice as well while we're pointing down, so that wood plank tile throughout. And then over here we have the dining nook, so it's got a nice light fixture up above, and then the slider going out to the back patio, a mirror, and plenty of space for a great big table here. Very nice. So let's check this out. This is a larger lot than what is currently standard in the community, however the next phase that they're going to be releasing, probably winter time. Uh, is going to be this size. This is a 12,000 square foot lot. Standard size is about 8,400, I believe he said. So we're on a little bit bigger lot here. But he said that takes about eight feet from the back wall in. So even with that eight feet, this is still a very good size lot. It'd actually probably be right around where the turf transitions to the uh, rock, if not a little bit behind that, maybe behind that first row of plants. But these things are huge, super wide. Again, these are wider than standard, but yeah, 
this, uh, the next phase is going to feature all, this is going to become the standard lot. So depending on what you're watching, when you are watching this video, this may now be the standard lot. So if so, then you're in luck. Of course that comes at added cost, but you know, we're not going to worry about that right now. But yeah, great big thing. They're going to be coming with four car garages in that second phase. Definitely some beautiful homes. Let's get the door closed. Okay. And so my as I trace my retrace my footsteps here, this is kind of a unique setup because I believe we're intending this obviously to be the pantry. I saw the food in there and wasn't sure if that was uh, exactly the intent, but it appears that is. So rather than separate out the pantry and the laundry room, they just combined them into one space, which is interesting. Not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. I can see some people not minding. I can see some people really not liking that. Here is the master. Good size. We got the speakers pre-wired in here. An upgrade, of course. Nice big window going back to the backyard. And lots of room in here. And we've got a beautiful freestanding soaking tub. The mirror to check out the nice views. Beautiful shower. Vanity tucked over here. They do have the floating vanity with the light underneath it. There's your mirror. A little narrow here. That's probably my biggest gripe. This, this is kind of a little bit squished. But everything's done very nicely. The tile looks great. Here's the closet. Again, not all that large. I mean, it kind of zigzags its way back here, but a little smaller than you often see. And here's the toilet, tucked in the back. So, done very nicely, and obviously they gave a good amount of square footage to the living area in that casita, which is, you know, for a lot of people is gonna be okay. They don't need a huge master bathroom, but gonna largely depend on what it is you're looking for. So that's gonna pretty much conclude our look at this beauty of a home. We'll take one last little look around the living area here. Gorgeous home here by K. Hovnanian Homes. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up our tour of the Flagstaff 2. A really cool model. Love that the Casita is included. You never see that. So that's a great feature that K. Hovnanian is giving you here in this community. Absolutely love that home. Really fits the needs for a lot of people. If you love this home too, you wanna see it in person, you know what to do. Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or go down below, schedule that Zoom call, all that information right down there in the description below. I would be honored to help you. Thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it, guys. And I will see you again very soon on another model home tour.